Hello everyone and welcome back to more Gex 2 Beauty. And this time we're going to Poltergeist and the puns just keep on coming. Winston, stop messing around with Romper. Romper just wants to lay down and not care. <laughs> hey, I remember this remote. I remember this. I know this. Bigger than Drew Carey's I know this man. level pretty well. I, to an extent. Like, I know, like, all the, like, little areas and stuff, but I don't remember what my speedrunning route was. Because that was, like, years ago. That was, like, four years ago. But is your internet acting up again? Like, literally the second we started the part, your voice started going all crazy. You know, uh, I don't know, but let's go with yes. Okay. It's fine now. <laughs> it's just... Hmm. Anyway, I'm just gonna grab the collectibles every time until I get it, because I have no idea which mission I get it on. In fact, because it's been almost a month since I did my playthrough, uh, I don't know which is... Anything. This is probably, if I remember correctly, this is probably the best uh, place to get the remote to get the, um, the collectibles one. Because this one, I think you have to go, in, uh, it's either this one or like the third one. One of them you have to go to like, like throughout this entire place, essentially. So, I think it's this one. Uh, it's, I think it's the third one, because the third one, the third one's the one with all the coolers. And they put coolers on both of the routes. For uh, some reason. It's not, the, it's not the coolers one, it's it's definitely not. Okay, so then it's this one. Because coolers is the third one. Wow. For some reason I thought it was the second one. Oh no, it's a... Uh... The head? Uh, we, we've already beat the Ain't Afraid No Ghost joke, so uh, I'm just gonna move along. Fail time! We've already so made that there's joke. A cool, there's a oh. cooler on the bottom floor. See it? I know, I'm also not going for coolers right now. I didn't I didn't, I didn't. didn't even see it and I knew it was there, because I just remembered. The see, I've got good memory. Hey, there's the secret yeah, I know. Again, I'm probably gonna get that one when I go for, for the coolers. The Keelers. Okay, okay. I have a very important question to ask you. Okay, shoot. Because this is random, but it just came up in my head. Alright. So, I've got a friend. Like, he's like my closest friend, right? Mm -hmm. He he says that I say the word thanks. Very weird. This sounds fine to me. He says it sounds like a, like the first letter is kind of like a D-ish sound, so like... like thanks? Not like thanks, but like thanks, I guess. Like, like I don't know, it's really hard to explain. I don't hear it. He says it, it, he says it, he says it sounds weird and he points it out sometimes. I'm like, what do you mean? It's, I'd say it normal. Like... I, I want to know how thanks. this person says thanks. He says thanks properly. But I, I, like, if I just say thanks normally, like, what's that, his like, accent? Uh, it's because he is cute. Hmm. Yeah, I've got no idea. I don't know. It's really weird. And then I asked another friend of mine in the same call. I was like, oh, okay, no, never mind. It's the next. It's the next remote that I'm thinking of that has the the collectibles are probably easier to grab. But yeah, no, and then, then another friend of mine, I, I asked him, I'm like, who's like in the, who's in like the call and has been in like these group chats with us, because he's another good friend of mine that I've known for like 10 years. Um, and I was like, do I, do I actually say it like as bizarrely as it's put? And then he was like, you know, now that he's mentioned it, you know, kind of. I don't hear it, but... Mm. Okay, okay, okay. I just, I just needed to reassure myself that I'm not like going crazy or something, you know? That's gonna so call this an easy ever, platforming challenge, but uh... <laughs> if I ever say uh, thanks and it sounds really weird, just, just tell it, tell it to me. Will do. Because, because I need to know if this is like legit or not, you know what I mean? So it's bugging me. OCD. Did I? 
I told you how that worked tomorrow or yesterday. I told you that, right? Yeah. Um. So everyone, I called oh, off yeah. work tomorrow yeah, or yesterday. Why did you say tomorrow? I'm going tomorrow. It was great. Um, I'm gonna tell everyone another work well story. Oh, fun! Um, I always got work well story. Um, so Don't work you. in retail. We've already mentioned this in this so LP. I wanted, I, I wanted to tell you about this, but I I never got the chance to. I don't believe. Okay. So uh, when I went in on Monday, um, I uh, red rum, red rum. I what happened? Um. Oh yeah, yeah. I went in on Monday, which was like the first day of the week that I had to, to work, because I don't work Sundays. Um, and I took a look. I got inside, and I had to go to the back to put my uh, my sweatshirt in the locker because it, I can't really wear. It. Well, I can, but it's not. It's never, it's never really a, a good time for me to wear my sweatshirt um, inside. It's not really too cold. We don't make it too cold in there. But anyways. Um, yeah, collect all the collectibles here as you can. Um, but anyways, uh, so I went into work and I looked at the schedule because instinctually when I go to the back room, even though I've already known the schedule since like Saturday, instinctually I, I take a look, right? Because I'm just, it's just like as soon as you walk in, I'm like, well, apparently it was for the best, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and it, like, you know, I took a look and I was like, whatever, you know. Um, and I was supposed to work on uh, on Tuesday. Today is Wednesday for when we record, just so everyone knows. Uh, it's the 29th, one even more of a reference point. Um, but anyway, so I was told, or not that I was told, I, I knew I had to work on Tuesday. I had to work Monday and Tuesday, not Wednesday. Uh, they don't schedule me for Wednesday for some reason, but you know what? I'm okay with that. I'm just <laughs> having a day off sometimes. Yeah. Um... And, but, uh, so what they, so anyways, the I, I had to go to work a uh, on Tuesday field. morning. It was a nine to one shift. It was a four hour shift, which I was totally okay with because that's just like whatever to me. Um, that's, that's, it's, it's an early shift, which sucks in terms of waking up, but my sleep schedule has kind of gotten better for the most part. I don't try to stay up till like 6 a.m. anymore. Um, I have noticed. Uh, that I, that used to happen like. The, oh, like, all the time. Well, it was good. the worst for sending you reminders of when to upload stuff. Oh uh, yeah. Well, this, I, I, lately I've been going to sleep at like two, so. Uh, that's like a little better, late. I guess. Oh, that's way better. Like I don't. When it's two, I'm not like I don't want to sleep, and then I don't like force myself not to sleep. Uh, but anyway, so that was um, that that was that whole ordeal, and I was like, okay, so. So I, I'm fine with that. Like, sure, I'm probably going to be tired throughout the day, but it's like a four-hour shift, so I can just go home, take a nap, and be good. Um, and what happened was I walked in Ooh, on Monday, went to the back, bill. and looked at the schedule, noticed there were some markings of people crossing stuff out. Um, so nobody asked me. Nobody warned me. They, I, I look at the schedule, and my time was changed from a 9 to 1 to a 5 to 9. And that is personally a time that I'm not okay with. That's like one of the worst times to work. Even if it's a four-hour shift, that's like, I hate, oh, yeah, I hate just, closing. Yeah. It, because because I, I, I'm the kind of person that I like to work in the morning, so I work in the morning or overnight, depending on uh, what it is. Because, is. because if I work in the morning, it's like, I can relax, you know, I can wake up, work, and then I have the rest of the day to myself. When I work at night, like when I have to, not at night, but like when I work to close, like at 1 o'clock or 5 o'clock, I feel like I have to like meticulously plan what I have to do for the day before I go to work. Um, and that that sucks. That could just be a mental process thing for me, but I hate I hate it because of that. Um, and not only that, but uh, I have this really awful manager um, that is the worst. Um, I don't want to get. Okay, I'll mention I'll mention a few things about about them. To, so just so so people know, I know people like you know whatever floats your boat floats your boat, but they're the kind of person that is like. They believe in all the conspiracy theories around. Like, uh, ooh, I hate this room. 
Um, they're the kind of person that are like, uh, for example, like the the Las Vegas shooting. Um, I actually had a a uh, not a personal friend. You got the secret mug here, right? Uh, yeah, I got it when you was telling the story. Both of them, I, I meant like. The collectibles one. No, two, I'm still working right? on collectibles. I wasn't even gonna go for that one until next time, but when I noticed how many collectibles I had, I was like, you know what? There's collectibles along that route. I might as well. Uh, I told you this is probably gonna be the one where you get it. Well, he was right. Um, but anyways, um, the other person that okay, so I had somebody. I had a, a like a family friend uh, who was in that shooting, and I and I mentioned it at work when it happened because I learned about it because they walked in to the store that family friend and they told us that their daughter was involved in it and she was like okay but she was like in it and um she was the kind of person that was like tried to under her tongue say it was like the government sort of thing like it wasn't real sort of thing okay i, think that okay, I know plenty of conspiracy nut jobs too and i've never heard that one yeah she, she's that kind of person <laughs> Um, is there anything and down that, there? That, that gives you a feel for her personality. Also, she, um, I don't think you can get there. Um, she's the kind of person that, like, what's the best way to describe this? Like, okay, so she's gotten better at this, which is surprising because she's worked apparently with this company for a really long time. Uh, but what she did was she would, she's the kind of person that would use, like, retail lingo to customers and say or like stuff that you would um only only like employees would know like yeah you mentioned call, that to me once yeah like we'll call this section of the store this because that's it's just easier for us as employees to to know what to, to clean or or to, to mess or or you know that that sort of stuff um and, and she would say that to customers and I never was like, it never like annoyed me, like personally, for a sort of thing. It was more like a confused. I always be confused. Like, why, why would you say that? They don't understand what that means more than likely. Like, for example, we call a, a section of our store the black tile. Do you know what the black tile is? Of course not. <laughs> I've never worked in retail. Yeah. You'll tell people, go to the black tile. And I'm like, I'm just, I'm just thinking in my head, I'm like, anyone any customer here knows what the black tile is especially because our entire floor is white <laughs> but when i think of the black tile i think of a section where like a floor is like a black color that's that's what i think well, sure of that, that that's the obvious conclusion yeah uh, but but it's it's the worst um and and she's the kind of person that she mumbles to herself she sings to herself. She's an older woman, mind you. She's like, I, I swear, she's like part of partially the same. Um, she like sings and hums to herself. It's it's really weird. Uh, she'll like, she she. You know what's the worst part though? And uh, this is all important, just so everyone knows why why I I didn't want to work this day. This is leading up to something. I swear. Um, and, and she's. Oh, man, it feels really good though to be able to just talk about her and not really care. Uh, I've done it before to a few friends just so I can explain to them. Yeah, there's the clicks how... Yeah. Woo! But yeah, to explain to them how awful this is. But like, um, anyways, so she, um, she will mumble to herself. She will, uh, sing to herself. She will. The worst thing, like, that I was trying to say, I was trying to pick up where I was at. Um, the worst thing that she does. I hope you don't fall, by the way. Um, is I've been working there for a year and she still fucking tells me the simplest of things that I, I already know. Like, and, and, and she does this to everyone, like, except, like, managers and stuff. It's, it's the worst. Like, she will, like, she acts as if I'm, like, the first, like, it's my first time on the job sort of thing. But it's like, imagine that, but every day you work with her. It is, it's the worst. It actually is the worst. I hate it and it pisses me off so much. It's like, yeah, I know how to do this. I've done it for like a year. Shut up. There's so many times I've almost told her to shut up. Let's get it's it crazy. There, and I, I ignore her almost all the time, especially because she mumbles. You can't understand her half the time. 
But anyways, um, yeah, she's awful. She does that. Um, or when you're trying to tell her something, like say you're working like as a cashier and you're trying to explain something to her, she'll like give you the talk to the hand thing to basically tell you to shut up. And it's just like, what the fuck? I'm trying really to cool. tell Get you something, detail. like important. So I, I can't like say anything. It's, it's the worst. But anyways, uh, I had to close with her on Tuesday, which is the day I was like, originally I had I had the open, which I wanted to, which I totally was fine with. And then she, and then it changed to, nope, you gotta, you gotta close with her. So at that point, I was like, fuck that, dude. First of all, I ain't gonna work on this day for most. For reasons. For one, I refuse to be with this bitch. I hate her. Clearly. <laughs> this, this is this is like a this is like a internal me speaking. Uh, and, and second of all, and this this frustrated me. And I I vented my frustrations to Mayo, and, and he understands. This. They never warned me or told me anything that my my schedule, even if it was one day, they never told me. And I learned it myself. <laughs> Like, I came in all on Monday, and they still didn't tell me until the very end of the shift where I left. Then they told me. I was like, what? Um, but no, like, like I was so frustrated, and Mayo could understood this too, because it's, it's so dumb. Like, when whenever you're employed somewhere, and there's a schedule change that you're a part of, or that people want you to be a part of, you should be told. Absolutely! Because, because even if it's like a four hour shift, because I, like I told Mayo, I could, I could have made, and technically I did, because we were going to record yesterday, I believe, or we were going to hopefully record. Um, That's what I, I was, don't remember yeah. you ever mentioning that. I was planning on no at the very least, but I, mean, I, I could have. Yeah, we didn't, we didn't officially make, you know, make it so we were going to, but I, I was going to ask you when I came home sort of like later in the day, hey, would you want to record today sort of thing. Um, and that was the plan I had in my head. Uh, not only that, but I had to go to uh, an auto body shop to get an estimate on how much uh, damage because I was involved in a car accident. Uh, everyone was fine, just, as, just in case anybody... Uh, of course, to so you have to clarify that when you yeah. say you're in a car accident. Yeah, um, but, but anyways, um, I, I had to go to the auto body shop, right? Um, and I could have done this like before the shift, mind you, but I had like, there was a lot of stuff that I kind of had planned for later in the day. I kind of had my day set. Um, and one thing that I personally hate, I know this is kind of like a, a pet peeve for a lot of people, but for me, this really frustrated me. I was like, I already have the day set and you're in the last minute. I'm being told that I have to change everything. I'm not, I don't want to deal with this shit. I think it's in the yeah, I think it's this one. Yeah. I, okay it's six. I was gonna say I can't see the number, but um but anyways, uh so I was like, you know what? I'm I'm gonna call this day off. For, for, for almost that reason alone. I was really pissed that entire day of work. That it was a four hour shift which are usually aren't bad, but I was so frustrated that the last like hour dragged on because I just wanted to leave at that point. Like I was just so pissed off from with the like entire this, that, this is what we call poor management just so everyone knows you if if someone if something like that happens you're generally supposed to be told i don't think this is cooler in here. yeah i don't think so i was just checking because i don't i remember where one of the two is i'm not sure about the but, other yeah but yeah no like oh there's the other one in, in, okay in, in, oh. ah. in, in mayo can relate to me on this one like like i said like legitimately why would you not be told? And, and the thing is, like, to me, even though it was, like, the difference was it's four hours after I was originally supposed to leave because I, I was supposed to leave on my original shift at 1 p.m. and this new shift was to start at 5. It's, like, polar opposites um, in terms of, of time of when you're working. Like, I was working at... Um, I'm working from the... That's changing from the morning and coming home in the afternoon to working like at night and then going home and basically I, I wouldn't sleep but most, you know the majority of people would sleep at that time 
Um, I don't know if we're gonna do the bonus parts. The bonus uh, it has like been bonus. 20 minutes. Nah, but let's just do it on one video. Best thing is, like, if it was gonna be like 30 minutes to get through the stage like it was for me before, then fine, I might have split it up, but it's only 20 minutes. The bonus stage isn't gonna take that long. Sweet, no idea about the boss. That means I can keep talking about my story. Woo! The story's basically over at this point. I'm just kind of rambling. Well, um, don't worry. This part's already called Work Woes Part 2 anyway. Yeah. Most likely. Reveal. But, um, yeah, no, I, I was, I was so pissed. Like, I can't even describe, and this isn't the first time they've done this. In other times, I've kind of just accepted it. But this was one of the times where I was just, I was, like, done. I was like, no, I, I'm 100% not doing this. This is... You, you can't just not tell me. And then when I'm leaving the, the, the day before, that's when you decide to tell me. Like, that, there's so much wrong with that. Oh. Well, I remember when we were talking, like, oh, hey, is there anything up there? It's like, oh, no, there's, nothing up, there's something up here. This is where they put the bonus. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm so confused. Why is it here? Who knows? Why now? Oh. And I... But, yeah, no, like, I just I can't do that, man. You have to... You have to tell or ask your employees if they oh, will be absolutely. busy. Like, you can't I just assume, oh, okay, it's they're it. working early that day, therefore they will be fine for later. When, I, when I'm when i given, like, a, a few days to, to work out, like, what I'm going to do in a week or something, I could have easily made a plan and been like, yeah. Most I people would have. Faster. Yeah, I'd be like, yeah. I, I think that's how I responded time. when you mentioned that part. It's like, most people would have made a plan. Yeah, and and I to be fair, I kind of already had plans. Granted, those were plans I could move, but I had plans that I I was going to stick to. Um. Uh, okay. <laughs> did I fall through the level or something? Uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> but but yeah, no, I was I was so done. I I um so I, I at that point, I was like, yeah, I'm just gonna call the day off. Um. Because they, they, they ruined a perfectly good time for me to work to a time that was like... Oh, you know what? You know what was even worse? Or, or not even worse, but was even more funny? I don't know if I told you this, but they called me at fucking 8.57 in the morning asking, Hey, do you, can you... They're like, hey, I know we changed your schedule and stuff, but can you still come? Can you come in the morning instead? Because I need you. I was like... That's the icing on the cake. Like, for like, anyone else, that probably would have been instant quit. I was like, you're fucking kidding. But you know what? Just just for our sake, like, I was going to do it. I was legitimately going to do it. Because just to get some extra hours. Like, you know what? Sure, it's the morning. Why not? Sort of thing. Um, Better than dealing. Man, not only that, but I wouldn't have to call like out. Which I, I, even though I get really pissed and I call out, I hate calling out. Just, there's a part of me that always feels really bad about it. Um, you know, which is funny given my whole entire work situation anyways. Um, but yeah, no, I, I, um, I was really, ooh, that was close. Uh, I was really, I was really done. I, and I was going to go in that morning. Uh, but in the end I didn't because, uh, I ended up being kind of sick yesterday. Um, until about 4 PM where I, everything sort of fixed at that point. Um, cause I was taking some medications last night or the night before and it, there, there was just some bad side effects the next day. Uh, I won't go into detail, but they were bad side effects. Um, and yeah, I, I, in the end, I didn't go to work that day, and I actually had to. No! Are you kidding me? Uh, it was right there. That's awkward. I had a feeling that. I was, was about to make a safe state too. I was at a point where I was like, should I? Not gonna lie, I honestly thought I, I kind of saw that coming. <laughs> it's tail time. Uh, but yeah, no, I, I missed work yesterday because of that. And, and you know what's even, you know what's even worse? Because I had to call and I had to deal with that shit manager. So I had to call her. I knew I was going to have to tell her. And I knew she was going to take it in a really shitty way. Um, oh, by the way, actually, I should mention, on that Monday night, um, it was like 5.05, right? Mm -hmm. I was supposed to get off at 5. And I was like, hey, uh, is it okay for me to get off? Uh, work now? Is it okay for me to clock out? You know, is everything fine? Because I was just like, you know, it's five, I assume by now I should be out. Um, this is retail and you don't really clock out on time like most people do. Um, and I was like, hey man, can I, can I clock out? And she was like, why are you so, why are you so antsy? You know, you're always like, like, oh, can I, can I clock out now? And, 
oh, can I go on my break now? I was so, I didn't say anything to it, but I was so fucking mad. Because every time I ask for my break, it is literally like 20 minutes over when I'm supposed to take my break. Like 10 to 20 minutes, it's like within that time span. In what fucking world am I too antsy to ask for my goddamn break? And that, that pissed me off, and then I called her, and I'm, and I'm like, yeah, I can't come in, because I'm not feeling good. Genuine thing, granted, at that time, I probably could have worked, like, once it was, like, 5.30, I was like, yeah, I could probably work in this, but Actually, how am I... Second. And, uh, but I was like, how, you know, I was like, I didn't know 100% at that time if, if you know, I, I could work properly. Um, and I called, and I was like, hi, I can't come in. And she legit, as soon as I said that, she fucking slammed the phone onto the desk. Not even a joke. Not even like placed down and said said something. She fucking slammed it and asked one of my my coworkers if they can close. And she said in the most like what's what's the right word? Like most obnoxious voice ever. She's like don't worry, this person can cover you know you for the night or whatever. And I was like, are you fucking joking? I I didn't even get to say I was sick. I just oh well, no, I didn't get, get I didn't even get to explain anything. It was literally one of those situations where I, I didn't get to explain anything. I just said, hey, what the heck I'm not feeling good. Just say? I don't know. It was Zilla really deep and distorted. Never... No. Uh, maybe that was a audio issue. Maybe yeah, it's no, supposed to be that way. I don't know. Maybe. This boss takes a long time from what I remember. I only fought this guy once. Ever. So remember back in the IES, I did a speedrun of this game. Which was the first time I ever played the game, by the way. And oh, I didn't. Yeah, I it was a race to Mega Rex, so this is as far as I've ever made it. <laughs> so oh, if you th ever thought. <laughs> seems like it was kind of like the next level, kind of was. The next few levels are great, but they're also equally really, really long. Don't they all only have one remote too? <laughs> yeah, but that, that's what I mean. They're like good, but they have one. Well, one of them has three, I think, but that, that one's just a full level. Uh, it's a Chinese level. Like the one we just did, but not a bonus. Yeah. Um, yeah, the, that, that is uh, my workflows of the video. Um, Probably won't have any in the next one. Actually, I probably won't. Who are you kidding? Of course you will. <laughs> it's because I've said this on multiple parts. I keep saying it. Nobody wants to hire me. I mean, to be fair, even if you start working somewhere else, you'll still probably hate it. Maybe not as much as this place, but... I, I just, I want to, okay. I know this is asking for a lot. But I want it to be somewhere where I don't have to, like, where I can kind of just, I can work, but I'm also, like, at the same time doing my own thing. And by that, I mean I can at least, like, listen to some music while I do it. That's why I'm, like, really hard pushing for some sort of stocking job. Well, I sure, they're, the, they're kind of the dream job for people like us. For yeah, one thing, you don't have to I deal just, with people. Yeah, you have any idea how nice that is? See, the thing is, like, for me in retail is, I don't have issues with dealing with people necessarily like I, that's probably one of my favorite things is probably talking to people being a cashier more for the joy of the time right that's probably my like the most enjoyable part to me which is funny because most people hate that i just hate the everything else part of that i have to like i have to clean up after people and they're fucking masses i have to deal with people that will not like control their kids properly like I, I don't hate to be that i hate to be that guy but they, they are like not parenting properly in my eyes it's like fucking deal with your ch child i'm not the babysitter please um so oh i know no come on and as i said that that's but that's what's like, yeah, curse no, plus right. jason Whatever. When you just whining. Do you hear? Not really. The game audio is really loud at this level, but it's improperly balanced loud. Oh wow. Uh, but I actually yeah, thought of I... going and turning the audio down, but I'm not sure if it's that bad. Plus, the game I, just I... sounds louder for me than it will in the video anyway, so. 
but I really do want to, like, I just, I, I don't know, a job, I think, optimally, a job where I can just listen to music the majority of the time, I think I could deal with, because then I can soldier through the day properly, I can be like, okay, I'll just turn on some tunes, do what I need to do, for the most part, I don't want to, like, clean up, like, I don't want to be, like, a janitor or something, but I'm not, I'm not that, yeah. I'm not going that route, but yeah, no, I, I, I'm really pushing for a stocking job because that's the, you get a late night one at that too. Because then I oh really yeah, that's really perfect because then you don't even have to adjust your, uh, your sleep schedule, right? Uh, yeah, not really. It kind of depends though. For that, or for for really more than one to one, where I can just be like, kind of same thing. Yeah, but I, I'm, I'm pushing. I'm really pushing for it. Winston, stop messing around with Robert. Robert just wants to lay down. <laughs> Witty! Robert doesn't want to play, he just wants to, like, sleep, leave him alone. Oh my god. But yeah, no, I just, it's, it's just, I, nobody, the, the thing is, the reason why I keep bringing this up, like, all the It's because you don't get hired. Ever, it's because I don't get hired, and if, I don't get talk, nobody speaks to me. <laughs> Like, that, that's the icing on the cake! Like, we mentioned that in another video in this LP, too, but... They never mention that they're not going forward. Like, maybe 1 in 10. Maybe. Like, they have my phone number. Can't they have, like, an automated system to just send a word I'm interested in? Like, the only one I've gotten an automated response out of was Walmart, of all places. Like, the automated <laughs> company sent one out. And no one else. It's just so, just so bad. I hate it. Oh, you didn't get hit at all. I got hit once. Oh. Like, well, once I figured out its attack patterns, it was easy. It's just that first attempt, I ended up taking two or three hits while I was figuring it out. But yeah, no, it's, it is. I just hate it, man. Why can't somebody just. It, it's like, it's so demoralizing after a while. Because you're just like, why even bother? Because no one's gonna fucking respond. Oh, good, the blue gate's open. Wait, what, what opened before? Uh, that's a good question. Um, because isn't that behind the blue gate? I think, yeah, I was about to say, it's probably something behind the blue gate. That's so um, weird. Like, you can't even get to it, and they showed it off anyway. I mean, that's how a lot of these games worked back in the day. I can't deny that. So we check how many remotes I have. Uh, there is, but I don't remember. Yeah, this is it. Ah, like, uh, yeah, it's like something really weird. And I think there's, I, I want to say there's only the two levels here. There's, I think that's the boss. No, I mean, it's got it's the name not. Res in it. No, it's 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 no weddings in a funeral. I don't remember yeah, what whatever that's this is. Channel Z. That's that's the boss. Okay. Um, where's the other stage though? I think it's at the bottom. Well, remember before? Oh, well, I guess I'll show you when I die. <laughs> or not? Okay, I'm just gonna land down here. <laughs> is this the blue? No. Okay. Well, there was two paths I could have taken. I took the left path. So maybe they're down to the right hand one. Yeah, here. This is the right. I think it's well, just here's, like one yeah, one. Okay, here's the Kung Fu level you're talking. So that, that'll probably be next one. Uh, go on that platform just to see if there's any other. Oh, oh yeah, here's the oh, here's the terrible oh, space oh, level. No. So that'll be two parts from now probably. Oh, no. And that's right, it. We've, we've We're getting within spitting distance hell. of this game too, though. Reach the hell zone. Pretty much. Just like, what wow. is that? I don't want to know. Oh, <gasps> okay, never mind. It's just select. Yeah. It's, it's I just get hesitant about it because I'm using a PS4 controller and it's fine to share and. Uh... Oh, I know. It's, it's so awkward. I'm share stuff sometimes. Okay. Uh, well, I guess that's the end of this part. Next part, we're probably, I assume... Yeah, we're going to the China level, I guess. One. That one's probably the easier of the bunch, I would say. That and no wedding to the funeral one is surprisingly easy. It's just kind of a long level. Yeah, we'll do that one next time, and then after that, we can go to that absolutely horrible space level I've heard so much about. Oh. Woo! Oh my god.
gonna and at that point, we'll basically be done with the game, right? There's not going to be much left. Yeah, because I think... Because this game doesn't have a secret, a secret level in it, I don't think. So... Is there a way to check, like, my percentage? I'll check. I'll check for you. Because I thought it was a 67% a while ago. Maybe it's under C password. Oh, this might be it. Oh my god, that is a password. Yep, 100%. welcome to PS1 era. God damn, why is it so long? Jesus. Or actually, he'll... Um, save, save. No, okay. Yeah, I'm saving first. 76%. Ah, okay, there we go. So I guess that's one way to figure it out. So yeah, we're it. roughly three quarters in. I have almost no two. saves on this. Two Spyro, two Crash, uh, Monsters Inc. And, or no, three Spyro, the gem. And then Final Fantasy VII and Chrono Cross. Why do I have Chrono Cross hey, on here? I haven't played the, that real, years. the real question is where's Crash Bash? Soon. <laughs> Very soon. <laughs> oh, my God. oh my goodness, it's like almost give or take eight days. Let's go. Like nine days, I think. I mean, by the time this goes up, it'll only be like four or five days. Oh yeah. Oh, I am so ready. We've still had long enough. Thank you all for watching. By the time we record the next part of this, we'll probably already be on the way to a mental deterioration. Also, I just want to say one thing before we leave. Spaghetti and meatballs. Okay. Very insightful uh, commentary there. Lasagna.